why is that your three so important? Well, it's it's important, but you, you're in year two of your recruiting class. You don't have all freshmen running around. You bring in some transfers to go with some some things, and you can usually make a jump. Um, it doesn't always work that way. My year two was better than year three. We were in 25 in year two. Um, year three just didn't click for us. Um, but I think they're. If you can, if you look at their team and what Brad's done, you can see that this year could be a really fun year for them. Yeah. It seems like you're really leading into the expectation as opposed to. You know, you could just be saying you're ignoring the noise and all those issues. Uh, yeah. I mean, why, why are you confident enough and, and willing to do that? Um, we have a really good culture of work. We have good players. We've added good players. I can sit there and say, oh, we're, you know, we're, we're still young, but that's the nature of the business. We were young the ad flash and won a lot of games. So um, we're challenging with our schedule. We have a very difficult schedule which will prepare us for the league, which will prepare us for down the road. So um, I believe in our guys. Now, is it going to go perfect? No, we're going to have our ups and downs. But I believe in our guys, and hopefully by the end of the year, we're playing our best basketball. Where do you feel like the NCAA tournament games fit into kind of who this team is? Because it's like you have one really close win in March Madness, yeah. and you have one really close loss. I mean, how important? Well, I think what was really big for us is that um, we played in an arena that was live, it was loud, it was exciting, it was fun. And we beat a really good Belmont team where a kid just absolutely goes off on us. And that's usually the recipe for failure. And we fought though, we were down a couple times and kept fighting and got a big stop late in the game. And then we played a really talented LSU team that was SEC champions, plus three in the ball. And then if you watch that game, we really did a lot of things right, except that last defensive possession, we didn't do things right. So that gave us confidence, but also gave us a taste that, man, we want to do this again, but we want to do it at a further level. We want to be better in the league. We want to have a chance to win the league championship. So, and then we have incredible depth. Um, you know, I, I know we have two or three guys that might separate themselves, but then from there till 10, 9, 10, 11, we're, we got great depth. We didn't have that depth last year. I put guys in just to put them in because we were tired. Now I can put guys in and they're ready for it. So um, we're bigger, we're stronger, deeper. So it gives you a little confidence. Jackler's Law Group clients are happy clients, and here's why. Our lawyers are experienced, hardworking professionals who fight until you win. And you pay no fees until we do. If you've been injured in a car, truck, or train crash, we meet you where you are and when you can. If you've been in a crash, don't wait. Call the big dogs now. Let us handle the insurance company so you can focus on healing. And you'll see why we were named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Does this feel comparable to the 2016 year in terms of expectation, depth, like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I wasn't here. But. Yeah, our, expect our expectations, Sweet 16, were off the charts. Really? Yeah, this doesn't feel the same. Uh, maybe I'm more used to it. Uh, our starting five, I don't want to compare teams, but our starting five on the Sweet 16 team was really, really good. Um, I'm hoping this team is special because of our depth. And um, we're younger than that team. We had Rashid Solomon, who was a fourth-year senior. Robert Carter was a fourth-year junior. Uh, Tremble was a third-year guy. Uh, you know, we were older. We had Jake Lehman was a senior. That starting five was old. This starting five will have Anthony Cowan probably and probably Daryl Morsell, and then the rest will be underclassmen. So it's a little bit different starting five, but we have a nice team. Yeah, back to back. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Yeah. It's nice to have guys that all they care about is winning. And that's all Daryl cares about. And um, now he wants to be more consistent offensively. He wants to take care of the ball better. That's all part of it, but he just wants to win. Um, and that rubs off. So I think Anthony's back to leave a legacy of winning more so than points and assists. And I, when you got Daryl on the same page as that, two of your three upperclassmen, that goes a long way. So it rubs off on the rest of the guys. Um, but Daryl's definitely our glue guy. He's really matured this season. He's really at peace with himself. Um, and his, his leadership is at another level. A lot of guys look up to him. And uh, he's very confident. He's very comfortable in his, in his skin and who he is. And you can see that. So that usually translates to a pretty good season. He's just calm. He, he knows he can play at this level. He knows his game's gotten better. He knows he can guard the best players. He just he understands who he is. You know, maybe last year he still wanted to be a scorer. Not to say he's not going to have games where he gets 15 or 16 for us, because he'll have games like that. But he knows who he is, and he's at peace with it. You seem to recruit a lot of young men who come across older than their actual yeah. age. Is that one of the first things you look for in a recruit? Is that kind of maturity and, and calmness? Uh, I think I've gotten lucky the last few years uh, with that. Um, I like older guys, uh, that helps. And uh, but there's a certain guy I know that I can coach and make better. And it's usually a mature kid, a guy that's driven, loves basketball. And, um, and so those are the guys that we've been targeting. And it's helped us. I mean, what that group did last year, I know we're talking about this year, but what that group did last year was pretty amazing. It was one of my favorite teams yeah. that you had. Yeah, it was fun. It was a shame the way it ended. It yeah. was a heck of a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. Never fun to coach. Looking back on your coaching career, when you get started.